Matilda Tino is a passionate teacher with more than 15 years of experience. She uses tablets during class at this public school in Kampala. They are a useful teaching tool, but they are never enough. We have a big enrollment in a class, like P4 today have been handling 159 with only 30 tablets. And it, makes diff it, it, it becomes difficult for me, for the children, because the tablets are very few. They, all of them do not get chance to hold it. So they keep on struggling because they want to hold it. Then the other thing is, uh, on top of that, of course, the knowledge of computer. Not all the teachers have the knowledge of using the computer, so there are only a few classes that go into the lab to use those computers. The school's more than 900 students must share just three desktop computers. Ivan Karugaba and his team want to change that. The mechanical engineer has built a simple device called a microfuse stick computer. My major inspiration was uh, the fact that most students uh, especially at university, didn't have access to, uh, to computers to use for their coursework. And I actually got to see the magnitude of this situation uh, when I lost my computer. So I took a whole year without a computer just because uh, coming up with a sum uh, of about uh, 1.2 to 2 million shillings was, was not uh, an easy thing. So uh, that is when I and my co-founder uh, so that we needed to do something about this. After designing the structure of the device, they used 3D printing to build a prototype. And now it's in production. Components are manufactured in China, and the pieces are assembled at this workshop. The final product can be plugged into the HDMI port of any display screen. A microfuse stick computer like this is user-friendly. It is light and portable, and it consumes about 5 watts of power, which is a lot less than a laptop or desktop. Ivan's team has the capacity to produce 100 devices a day, and they retail for $65 each. At the moment, only around 2% of Ugandans own a computer or laptop. But this new tech has the potential to change the e-learning space. You can load applications uh, such as uh, e-libraries, then uh, you can also load uh, other applications such as uh, digital laboratories where students can carry out experiments virtually. Uh, in addition to that, our technology has applications uh, where students can access content, that is uh, school content, uh, in form of text, audio, video. And uh, in future, actually, we look at uh, uh, this device uh, having the capability and the required connectivity for students to uh, do quizzes and tests online. Ivan has a broad vision. He plans to increase his company's worth tenfold to $50 million by 2028. Finding skilled workers in hardware design is a challenge, but by training more engineers, he hopes to expand his reach throughout the African continent. Darren Alan name Africa Matters, Kampala, Central Uganda. Uh -huh.